Hey everybody, Patrick here from Rocky Mountain Style. If this is your first time here, welcome, and if it's not, welcome back. So today we are going with uh, number two of the flannel series. We're talking about the Imogen, Imogen, not quite sure how to say it, Imogen and Willie Earl Plaid. Uh, so this is in a color a colorway called Fairbanks. It doesn't look available anymore on the website. Uh, the only one I see currently is a brown version, but uh, I picked it up not too long ago. I've worn it a few times and I wanted to just tell you my thoughts on it. And for the price that it retails for, which is about two and a half bills, uh, is it worth it? I guess you could kind of think of it as a, a cheaper alternative to something like Ironheart uh, or a more expensive version of some of the overseas made high-end flannels like Relwin or, or like the DVM that I, that I did last time. So if you're interested in hearing what I have to say, stick around, thanks. Imogene & Willie is an interesting brand that started in 2009 in Nashville, Tennessee. Right here on their website, according to them, their first two products were pairs of jeans, uh, one for women called the Imogene and one for men called the Willie. No idea if their company was already called Imogene & Willie at that time, but that's kind of neat that they, uh, that they tied that in, if that's the case. But uh, according to them, they sold 250 pairs and then, um, you know, the sky was the limit for them after that, I suppose. I would classify this company as a boutique uh, heritage brand. Uh, I've never heard of that. I just sort of made it up. But I mean, looking at these pictures, like just looking at that front door and how they do things, you can tell that they're not actually going for hard wearing work stuff. I think it's more of, uh, you know, the hard wearing work look as a fashion thing, which is completely fine. I, I wear a lot of stuff, you know, that's hard wearing for fashion, not because I'm actually, you know, working in the, uh, working in the yard or changing oil or whatever it happens to be. But um, no, it's a pretty cool company. They're, they're tied to the local music scene, it seems, because they're there in Nashville, Tennessee. Uh, their stuff is pretty pricey, but there's, there's something about it. Um, you know, the brand seems to have a bit of panache. And that, that, that word's probably not used correctly, but uh, it's interesting. You know, we're talking about flannels, obviously, but denim is how they got started. So here's a little bit of their denim. Um, I like their selvage ID, uh, sort of like the more pronounced red. Well, I guess I can't really. Yeah, more pronounced red there um, than most red and white selvage IDs. But, you know, they have raw looking things that you can fade and then also, you know, pre-distressed. So depending on what you want, they, they got you covered. In the intro, I said something incorrect. I said they no longer had the Fairbank colorway on offer. Uh, it is in a final sale section, so it's not showing up in the normal men's shirt section. Uh, it's just in the sale section. But yeah, this is the exact one I have here. You can see uh, full MSRP was two fifty five. dollars I got it on a sale a few months ago for $200, now for one forty five. dollars so uh, <laughs> that's a shame. And they, they do have all sizes except for the 2X. So if this is something you like, um, you, you're getting you know 45% off or something like that. And I'd say at 145, this is actually a pretty great value at 145. Uh, at 200, it's pretty reasonable. At 255, if it fits you perfectly, I think it'd be nice as well. Um, but there you have it. So the other cool thing about this, uh, and let's see if they say it here. No, they don't. It's on in one of the different ones. But so they say they only make a new Earl flannel when they find a fabric they like. So this is an eight and a half ounce version, which. Uh, tends more towards my desires. I like a little bit of a heavier uh, flannel, which technically this is not a flannel pattern, really. Um, it's just, you know, Japanese, 100% cotton. Uh, it's not brushed. It's not soft like some flannels. Uh, it's more of that thick woven feel, uh, which, which is cool too. I like that as well. But this one actually just popped up uh, as I was preparing to record. This is the first time I've seen it. I think this colorway is absolute fire. Um, if I had an option today, I would have picked this over the blue. I think this one's awesome. So this is called the Holcomb. It's 10 bucks cheaper at 245 because as you can see, it's slightly, slightly lighter, 7.6 versus the one before it was a little bit over eight. Um, but yeah, so, oh yeah, here it is right here. We only release the Earl when we find fabrics that feel just right. And this is no different. So no idea what this one feels like. It might be a little different. Than the Fairbanks, but I think that one is pretty sweet. And then uh, the one I mentioned in the intro, the brown one. So this one's a bit different. This one's called the Tacopa. It's very light, 3.8, 3.8 ounces, excuse me. And they actually call this flannel. So it's, um, you know, going to be brushed 
and then looks like it's pre-washed to be soft. So if you want something that's soft, more like a traditional flannel, this would be that. And it's also a decent amount cheaper probably because the fabric itself was, was cheaper. But overall, uh, it's interesting, I think, how they release these shirts just whenever they get the fabric uh, rather than just, you know, dropping 10 colors all at once and making you pick. So here's another one that's on um, final sale as well, Oak Ridge. So I spent some time at Baylor University. So I almost bought this to uh, <laughs> get back in touch with my Bears roots, but, uh, but there you have it. Here we have the shirt on. And as a reminder, I'm about 5'8 and a half, 190 pounds. This is a size large. So this is the definitely the right size. I think it fits fantastic. It's not too tight, even when I have my arms folded like this. It's not too tight on the shoulders, uh, but it still has a nice uh, flattering form fitting figure for someone my size, I think. So adjust accordingly. Um, again, like I mentioned, it's, it's not a soft flannel that's been double brushed or anything like that. It's more like a work shirt with thick woven fibers. Um, it's, it's pretty heavy. It hangs nicely. It drapes. Um, you know, here it is unbuttoned. A lot of people like to wear them unbuttoned. So uh, pretty good look, I think, and a, and a nice shirt overall. I want to show a few close-ups here. So this is the stitching. I think the stitching on this is outstanding. There's not a stitch out of place, and I was really impressed when I inspected it close up. So a little bit here at the, the back placket and the tags and things like that. Here's a close-up of the button. Again, you can see the detail of the fabric itself, very nicely woven, and the button very securely attached on. Here's the pocket, the top of the pocket on the front and then the uh, stitch underneath. Again, just impeccably crafted, it seems like. Hopefully it lasts me a really long time. And then in closing, here's a picture from Instagram that I threw up just showing you, you know, one way that you could style this. But um, yeah, I think there's a lot of worse flannels you could buy. Uh, it is expensive, I do understand that. But if you're looking to pick up a nice piece that you can wear for a long time, I think there's a good chance that this could be it. So uh, if you're looking around for a new one, give this a consideration. Thanks a lot. Have a great day, everybody.